Canyonlands traffic, Blue Cup reporting runway 21 to the northwest Canyonlands. practice area today I thought we'd do a little air work that would be applicable to some backcountry flying. Slow flight stalls, unusual attitudes, upset recoveries, turning stalls, and falling leaves. We'll start with some slow flight just like you would have done on your private pilot check ride. Bring the power back, full flaps, I'm going to take it right to the stall horn. There it is. So this is an outside maneuver. I'm going to watch my nose on the horizon and maintain that pitch throughout the maneuver. So here we are, trimmed up, power set for about 1,900 RPM, hands-free, Level flight, stall horn's not quite going off, but if I just bring it back a little bit, another inch up, there it is. I want to show you something. We're just about level flight. I want to descend at 200 feet per minute. I'm going to pull off 200 RPM. We're at 1870 to 1670. And you probably can't tell, but that gives us a 200 foot per minute descent. So this kind of proves that pitches, airspeed, power is altitude. So I'm going to add 400 RPM, let it stabilize, and we should get a 200 foot per minute climb once it settles in here. And that's close enough. You can see 2,000 or 200 RPM gives us 200 foot per minute climb. Hands free, trimmed up. All right, so let's lock in that nose now and do some turns. Low flight turns. So we'll add a little bank here, lock in the nose, add a little power. And we'll come right. Takes lots of rudder. And outside maneuver, we're just watching the nose trace the horizon. And we'll level up. Okay, so we're completing our clearing turn. We're gonna do a normal power off approach to landing stall. Now watch how I keep the nose in the same Place on the horizon again, outside maneuver. So I'm just going to lock in that nose until the plane stalls, and when it does break, I'm going to reduce the angle of attack, then add power to climb away. All right, so here we go. Get our flaps to full, power back to idle, hold the nose in the same place. Stall, oh, recover. Add power. Caution. Sink rate. There doesn't need to be a big hurry to get the power in. The power's not going to break the stall. Reducing the angle of attack does. And now we'll just clean up the airplane. I'm going to stay at flaps one. Okay, let's try one more. Approach to landing stall. Power off. Hold our heading here. Full flaps. Bringing the plane to idle. Locking in the pitch. Oh, recover. Power. Unusual attitude. 
attitudes have been an industry hot fun topic for a couple years now and professional pilots are getting a lot of training on it and the consensus is for the recovery procedure is push roll thrust and stabilize and i'm going to try to demonstrate why we push first when we push, we're unloading the wings and it allows our roll rate to increase and also if we're in an unrecognized stall, it could get us out of that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a right turn. I'm going to put some G on the airplane and I'm going to roll level while still pulling that G. And then I'll do it a second time and instead of keeping that G on the airplane, I'm going to unload the wing and roll level and we're going to try to see which one has the best roll rate okay so right turn load the airplane up and we're going to say recover and we're going to roll level that was pretty quick notice we got the stall horn we're back to level i'm just going to come back to the left here and reset Try to do the same thing again, get our airspeed back. The right turn, load up the airplane, unload and roll. No stall horn, maybe not a lot faster of a roll rate, but still. Probably a little bit quicker, no stall horn. And this can be used for obviously unusual attitudes, upsets, or unrecognized stall because we're lowering that angle of attack first. Now we're going to talk about turning stalls. And this is going to kind of simulate a base turn to final, 30 degree bank, two notches of flaps power around 1800 rpms so we're going to do a right turn and we're going to watch and see which way or which wing drops will the wing drop to the left or will it drop to the right so i'm going to give us about 1800 rpm i'm going to get us kind of already stalled here so that we're not spinning around so much but here we go right turn Bringing the nose up, there's the stall, drops left and idle, and pretty violently, you can see. Sink rate, pull Same recovery up. as a normal stall, though. Lower the angle of attack. Add power to climb out. Now you can see why that takes people by surprise. When I ask people that question, Generally, they always respond in a right turn, the right wing is gonna drop. But that's not the case, that's not what happens. This left wing is producing more lift, higher angle of attack. It stalls first and the left wing drops. Now you can see in that situation, the tendency might be to pull back and add right aileron. Well, in that case, you're asking this wing that's already stalled to make more lift. So what do you do? That's a pro spin input, and you've now just accelerated the spin you've put yourself into. So if you find yourself in that situation, you can do a normal stall recovery, or that may be a true upset. And the upset recovery will work. Push, roll, thrust, stabilize. In this case, we're pushing to get out of the stall. Rolling back to wings level and power to idle. Let's do one more. Two notches of flaps, power around 1800. And again, I'm gonna get us nice and slow and basically stalled straight and level because otherwise we end up doing a, a full 360 degree turn. But here we go, right turn and air already goes. To the left, to recover. Caution, sink rate. Doesn't take much. All right, here we go, one more, number three. Get a slow, start a right turn. There it goes, push, roll, 
Rust idle and stabilize us sink rate. back to level flight. Pretty crazy. Almost all Super Cubs will do this. This aircraft won't do it at full flaps and it won't do it at idle power, but it'll do it every time with two notches of flaps and around 1800 RPM. So our next order of business is some falling leaps. So basically we're just gonna do one notch of flaps, power to idle, and we're gonna hold the stick to the stop. And we're not gonna recover on that initial stall. We're gonna use the rudder to try to keep our heading and wings level. There I am, I'm at the stop. Right, right rudder. Real high angle of attack, stalls again. And you can see, it does pitch up, but it's not terribly scary. Just a little right rudder again, we're in a left bank. Perfect, recover, push. Sink rate, pull up. There is no roll, thrust, and stabilize. Hey, thanks for watching, and go practice some stalls at a safe altitude. We spend so much of our time practicing landings and takeoffs for the backcountry, I think we forget about our air work that can actually be more threatening. <laughs>